everyone and welcome to our channel Prepare Wood Wood Turning. Today is an exciting day as we delve into the rims of the laser technology with a special delivery from our friends at Creality. They've sent us the cutting edge laser Falcon 2 22 watts. A big shootout and heartful thanks to the team at Creality for trusting us with their latest creation. It's always an honor to collaborate with companies pushing the boundaries of what's possible. And we can't wait to see what the Luster Falcon 2 brings to our woodworking journey. I can tell you that I never had the Luster before and I also didn't have opportunity to work with it. That is why I'm very grateful to Creality that I was contacted if I want to test their new product Luster Falcon 2. I always wanted to have such a laser because I always give our products to someone else to engrave. But now we will be able to, to do it with my wife. In this video I will show you what Creality has sent me. I will also show you what the basic package contains without accessories. Then I will show you how to assemble laser for Con 2. And I will also try to do some small tests and the gravings for start in this video. In the next video that we will follow, I will show you some engravings of our products and also test some new things that we couldn't do on our own so far. So enjoy the video. Now I will show you what is included in the basic package which you can order from the Creality website. This is Creality Falcon 22 Laser model. Protective glasses, power cable, power adapter, an air pump that has very soft silicone feet, which makes its operation very quiet. This box contains USB key, OTG adapter, some screws, child safety keys and some other things. This package contains a laser quiet utility, some extra legs with which you can raise the entire laser, some plywood for first testing, USB cable, brush for cleaning laser lines, and legs with rubber. You can also see how well it is packed all together. This is also a basic worktop that is included in the basic package. It really doesn't take much time and knowledge to assemble the laser because the Creality team assembled the laser almost to the finish. It's only necessary to install the legs which are very easy to screw on. To install a laser model, unscrew the two screws and place the model on the bus. Then screw these two screws back. Then just connect the air hose and install the power cable to connect the laser model. For carefree work of the laser there are also two hooks with which you can attach the tube and cable. On the Falcon 2 laser model is also USB-C port and reset button. Here you connect the hose for the air pump.
On the left side of the laser housing is the entrance to which the air pump is connected. Here you can regulate air strength. I would recommend that, that you do this on the maximum. This workbench is also included in the basic package. Link for this laser created for Con 22 22V is in the description. On the right side of the housing we have safety switch. Child key lock. And buttons to help yourself if you use files from SD card. On this side we have an SD card slot, USB input, electricity connection and power switch. On the laser model we have three lights that shows whether the air pump is working or not, a fire sensor light and a lens light that shows the cleanliness of the laser lens. Falcon 2 also have a slope sensor so that if the laser accidentally leans, it automatically turns off. Before you start cutting out the products, it's best to make some test cuts on different materials. This is now a test case from 3mm plywood. I will do the same test on a 3mm thick plate of the American Black Walnut. Because the American Black Walnut is harder wood than plywood, I will lower the height of the laser to the middle possible position. Here is my first attempt at cutting out some of our logos. I have to tell you that I'm very impressed with the precision of the cut and engraving and that this laser really does its job excellent. I'm very pleased that Creality also sent me some accessories for this laser. One of them is this protective cover, which also has a fan with the tube which very well drains the smoke whose laser creates in its work. Now I'm going to show you how powerful this laser is. For the test I will use cherry wood of different thicknesses. 
first I will use a 10 mm thick piece. To cut wood thicker than 6 mm, it is necessary to lower the laser to the lowest point, as I am showing you here. You can see that it cut through without any problems. Now I will try to see if cuts 12 mm. Because in the first attempt I used the same settings as in the previous one, of course the laser could not cut the wood. So I tried the second one with a slower speed. And I was very surprised that the laser cut through that too. Here you can see how little was missing and the laser would cut through that thickness as well. Maybe I could play around with the settings a bit and it would do the job just fine too. In the end of the video I want to give you my final thoughts about this Reality Falcon 2 laser. This laser is really powerful, as we saw in the video it easy cuts through thicker material. It's simple to set up and use, making it suitable for beginners as well as those already familiar with lasers. Always remember safety first, so don't forget to wear eye protection. I recommend the Dark Reality Falcon 2 laser. It's excellent for cutting and engraving. Also I'm planning to make a second video where I will not only engrave some of our products from Pipaya Woodshop, but also test the Creality Rotary Kit Pro. This will give us a chance to explore more possibilities with the Falcon 2. I really want to say a huge thanks to Creality. This opportunity to work with the Falcon 2 laser has been amazing. I learned a lot about cutting and engraving with this laser. I am really grateful for Creality's support and for trusting me with their products. It's awesome to team up with company that's doing such cool things in this area. Thanks a lot Creality for teaming up with us at Pepe Shop. this means a lot to us. In the end I want to say that this is my first time talking in the video, so please excuse any mistakes. I'm still learning and I'm grateful for your support. Don't forget to like, share and comment, your thoughts mean a lot. Thanks for watching.